Welcome to today's episode of What's She Gonna Make? <laughs> a little background on this one. Three years ago, probably longer than that, it was a throw together with stuff around the shop. It got the old uh, BPS long rods in it, shade pistons, and a set of uh, BPS heads that were decked for a stage two. We always known compression's through the roof on it. It does not like 93. We're gonna find out what the compression is today. Hold that wide open. You got it. Yep. Let's see not horrible. No, All right. I think we had 210, 212, cylinder one, cylinder two. <laughs> Maybe a 212er? That is not as bad as we thought it was. We put some additive with it. This one must have had a hot spot. It would stay pissed off. Anyway, it's got a hurt crankshaft on the back. It's going to get a once over. So before we open it up, we're going to see what she's got. All right, we got the dyno hooked up, motor half ass warmed up. We're going to warm it up a little bit more. Uh, guesses on horsepower 33 degrees out here and raining. One thing about the horsepower, we're going to see raw data uncorrected what's it doing right here in front of us i'm gonna guess 61 with a pretty good torque curve what's your guess i was gonna guess 65 but i think i'm gonna drop the 64 and a half <laughs> <laughs> guess number three 63 63 all right we're probably all over guessing a little bit we're gonna warm it up make it hit. all right we got the motor warmed up uh side note I saw 35 mile an hour on this boat. It is a big ass 1854, 316, all their kind of boat. Uh, so we're gonna fire it up and make a pull. I think it was high 50s. Torque observed 70 pounds. That's stout as shit. Came up a little short, 57. And looks like we let off early. I thought it had gone to 5300. I set it. Curve is about done there. We're going to make another pull to back it up, but 70 foot pounds observed, zero correction. And ran out of air at 57 ponies on the big end. That's not bad. All right, on that first pull, we had uh, 70 foot-pounds, 57 ponies. We're going to back it up with one more hit. It's raining even more now. Let it rip. is not revving out she might be floating a valve or something there's an older motor not sure last time she got adjusted consistent 70 pounds no correction another uh 57 on the big end but yeah she is not revving out we gotta figure that one out all right a little update what we're gonna do 
We didn't find any dirt in the carburetor. We're gonna bump the main jet while we're here. Leak down. Shit, like excellent. Um, but springs are a little soft, so we're gonna add another shim to these springs. We'll get back with you in a minute. How the hell did you get that out of there? Did you pull it out? I untwisted it. I I yanked <laughs> this off before. Real professional, guys. Thanks, bud. So we bumped the main jet, two jet sizes. We don't know if it's just the weather messing with it. And we added some spring pressure to oh, it. Set the valves. This motor's about to get come down, get a once-over. We're just playing with it. How many guys did this take to screw this in the hole? Oh god. Doesn't help that it's plastic. <laughs> Yeah, Not the way you install that. Nope. Looking good. Oh, oh you're just not open. <laughs> Zip bottom. Mm. You've uh, got to be kidding me. What? We're going to get it back together. Right here. Let it warm up again, make another hit on it. <laughs> that time we got about 71 pounds of torque 58 so it didn't increase a lot of power but she pulled clean this time she didn't give up so early so I'm pretty comfortable with that number considering it's raining outside that's a lot of humidity cold nasty air I like cold air but humidity makes it even worse but so our original bet, I bet 61, so uh, you owe me a dollar? Yep. You owe me a dollar? She's a little light, but she'll get an improvement. Not bad. Thanks for watching.